In this video, I will explain anatomy of fibula bone, its site determination, identification, general features, and also its anatomical position. Fibula is a long and lateral bone of our leg. It do not take part in weight transmission, but it provides attachment to muscle. Above, it do not take part in formation of knee joint, but it articulate with tibia bone. And distally. It take part in formation of ankle joint by articulating with talus bone. It consists of three parts: upper expanded end, a shaft, and a lower expanded end. Let's discuss these part one by one. Its upper end consists of a styloid process with its apex directed posterior laterally, and just below this styloid process, this expanded part is known as head and a constricted part below this head is known as neck of fibula its upper end also consists of a articulating facet for articulation with this lateral condyle of tibia bone its lower end is expanded anterior posteriorly but it is flattened from side to side at its lower end it is prolonged laterally to form lateral malleolus and, and just medial to this lateral malleolus there is a triangular articulating facet for articulation with talus bone and its lower end also consists of a fossa which is known as malleolar fossa of lateral malleolus now its shaft its shaft consists of three borders and three surfaces its anterior border start just behind this anterior aspect of head then move downward and and its lower end it diverged into two parts to enclose a triangular area and its lower lip is continuous with this lateral malleolus and enclosing a triangular area this one is triangular area enclosed by diverged portion of this anterior border and its median border start just median to this anterior border and move along it it end just above this articulating facet and third and its last border is its posterior border its posterior border start above from this styloid process then move downward and it end just behind this lateral malleolus and there are three surfaces enclosed by this border this narrow surface which is situated between this anterior border and median border this surface is called its medial surface and uh, this surface which is between its anterior border and posterior border is called uh, its lateral surface and third and its large surface is between this median border and its posterior border this surface is called as posterior divide further divide further divided by a median crest into two parts and now its side determination its lower end its lower end is expanded only anterior posteriorly and it is flattened from side to side and laterally it consists of lateral malleolus and medially it consists of a malleolar fossa and its anterior surface consists of two border while its posterior surface consists of only one border and above it has a styloid process so from these features you can easily recognize fibula bone and in its anatomical position it is held vertically downward that's all about fibula